Hi, Betsy Colley here, uh, Senior SFG for Strong First. I want to make a quick video in regard to the getup. I did a user course back in Chicago a couple of weeks ago, and one of the attendees had a couple of questions about power breathing, specifically used in the getup. And then also the second question he had was, how do you keep that straight leg down in the getup? So I just want to reiterate both those questions or, or answers for those questions. The first one, in regard to power breathing, the reason that that's so important in the getup is that a lot of us have lost stability or never really gained stability in dynamic movement, which is basically what the getup is. It's a dynamic movement pattern where different muscle groups should be stabilizing the body as you're moving. And as, if you pow, practice the power breathing, it will bring quite a lot of st stabilization throughout the body, not just the abdominal contraction alone. So from that standpoint, it's extremely um, crucial that you practice that with your get up. So I want to just show you what that looks like now, or let you hear it, I should say, more, more than anything. And um, you'll, you'll see the stability that it provides. So the power breathing, again to reiterate, is done by pushing your tongue against the roof of your mouth or your teeth, forcing an exhale. When you do that, anatomically, the abdominals contract. This is an anatomical design, it's nothing invented by kettlebells or anyone else for that matter. It's something that happens anatomically because of the way we're designed. When we do that movement with our tongue, it causes the abdominals to contract. And the, the really cool thing about that is, the more you practice that, the more the abdominals contract right through the pelvic floor. So you get some really incredible abdominal contraction and strength when you do that. So I encourage you, if you've not done this already with the getup, that you make that part of the getup. It's utilized in all the other kettlebell movements that we do, and it's extremely important and useful, especially if you're lifting heavy weight. Um, the other thing that I wanted to address for him was how do you keep that straight leg straight and not pop off the floor when you sit up? Um, that again is something that you're going to have to break down um, muscle group by muscle group. So what I'm referring to in the straight leg is um, sometimes I have to literally get people to understand that they're going to be squeezing their glute, that they're going to be contracting the glute of that leg and pressing, driving through the heel. If they don't drive through the heel, if they don't squeeze the glute, then that leg's going to pop up off the floor repeatedly. Um, it's basically dead weight useless. We don't want that. This is an anchor point for your getup. So we want to have contraction through that whole leg. Uh, let me see if I can show you one without contraction so you'll see the pop up that I'm referring to. And then I'm going to go back and try to show you um, a strong straight leg using contraction from the glutes all the way through the heel. Okay, let's see what happens. So here's my loose leg. And you can see there's a lot of extra movement there. I'm not going to finish the get up, I'm just going to go back down. Now let's see if we can do it with a contracted uh, straight leg. So right now, I am really flexed through the heel. I'm really contracted. And the leg stays down. So that's something that you're gonna have to practice on your own. It's not gonna come automatically. But if you'll start doing that, you'll see an amazing improvement in your, your stability of your get up. You'll begin to get tighter. You'll begin to get stronger total body. You'll be able to lift more weight in the get up. And it will feel very rewarding and stable.
So good luck with your training. If you uh, need to contact me, please do so at bcolly at nc.rr.com or find me on the Strong First website at strongfirst.com or at my personal business in Durham, North Carolina, rapidresultsfitness.net. Thanks and have a great day.